I'm going to show you how I created an AI clone of myself. Hi, I am an AI clone of Nick that will record videos on its own whenever I tell it to. And not only does it do the recording and voiceover using my voice, but it'll also generate a usable script for itself to use based on whatever information that I feed it. And once I have the script, all I have to do is change the status to video ready to get the video generated. It goes through the process using four AI tools. And in a few minutes, the video will be uploaded to my Dropbox on a folder on my computer. And then I would just edit the video completely just eliminating the need for me to actually be there to record the video. I can even have a team behind this that does all this for me with me touching nothing and just pump out videos at scale. This could be useful for content creators, coaches, personalized sales videos. And I will say as a disclaimer, not everybody's gonna find success with this because I believe as humans, we crave that genuine connection and even online. And once the internet gets flooded with AI clones, AI bots, finding an authentic video online is going to be rare. It'll be a relief to see something real on the internet. But at the same time, I also believe that AI video cloning and voice generation is getting so good and it'll continue to keep, keep getting so good. People won't even realize that it's AI. Maybe they won't even care. And I'm already starting to see online on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, people are using AI clones to create content. And a lot of the time people aren't noticing. It's already happening. So that is kind of the big question I've been asking myself. Even though people will crave that human connection, will people even realize the content they're consuming is AI? And does it matter if they're getting value out of it? But enough of that, let me tell you about this system. So I just learned how to do this automated AI cloning process with four different AI tools. And I'm not gonna go fully in depth on the technical side of this because that would just be a really long video. But if you do want me to go fully step-by-step step through the entire process, or maybe you want the exact blueprints so you could just copy and paste those into your own system and have it work already, let me know in the comments of this video. And also like and subscribe so that you actually see that video on your homepage. All right, so for the first tool, this is where you're gonna train the AI to look like you. HeyGen is the best AI cloning software out there. I know of many others and they don't come close to HeyGen. And they make it pretty easy to use and easy to get a good looking AI clone. I mean, the results of the training relies on what you feed it. So you wanna make sure that you're giving it good data, long enough data to get a good replica of yourself. So to train an AI, you gotta make an account. I'm pretty sure they'll let you do this on a free plan. Check out the pricing here. So they have a free plan here, create three videos per month, videos up to three minutes, export up to 720p. This will be good enough if you're first starting out. If you need more videos, then you can upgrade to the creator plan for $30 a month. But since this process that we're using, which is like a fully automated process, we're going to need also the HeyGen API plan. But with this free plan, they give you 10 free credits. So you can try it out before you decide to buy it. But when you do need more credits for the API usage, it does get a little bit more pricey at 100 credits at $99 a month. I'm currently paying for the pro price right now. I decided to just go with one month and try it out, start posting AI videos. I'm just kind of doing some testing to see if people will actually notice or care that my videos on Instagram Reels and TikTok are AI generated. And once I get those results, I'll be happy to share with you guys. If you want to see the results of that, let me know in the comments. So yeah, just go to avatars, go to create avatar. I'm not able to create an avatar because I'm already using all my available avatar slots. So I'm just going to look at this page here, but this is what the page will look like when you're creating an avatar. You can create a still avatar, which is like just me talking in front of my desk. Or you could do one that has movement where it's a guy talking, he has trees in the background, his background is moving like he's walking around. I haven't tried that one. It's probably a bit more complicated, just like this says, if this is your very first avatar you're creating, it's best to start out with a still avatar. And here we have the avatar instructions. You wanna make sure that you follow these very strictly. Because remember the quality of training data that you give the AI is going to reflect on the output. And you also wanna make sure that you're, you're wearing the right clothes, your hair is the way that you want it, because it's gonna straight up just copy you. So you wanna submit two to five minutes of footage, use a high resolution camera, record in a well-lit quiet environment, look directly into the camera, pause between each sentence with your mouth closed, use generic gestures, keep your hands below your chest, things to avoid, stitched or cut footage, so the footage that you send it, you wanna make sure that it's not already edited footage, talking without pauses, changing positions while recording, loud background noise, whatever noise you have in the background, it's going to have that same noise in your AI voice, which I mean, that might be useful for you if you have like birds chirping in the background and you're doing the, the motion training, diverting your gaze or looking around, hand gestures above the chest, use of pointing gestures. Now there's one question that I had that I could not find the answer to, so I just had to test it myself. What if we have a mic in front of us? Is that okay? Will it be able to move my hands behind the, the microphone and will it not look? I just didn't want it to look weird. 
and I tested it and it's fine. It knows what to do if a mic is in front of your face. So that's the answer to that if you were wondering. And in your training data, you wanna make sure that you're talking like how you want your AI clone to talk. So if you want your AI clone to be energetic and high energy, then make sure that you do that in your training data. If you want a more low, chill, energy AI clone, then you have to talk that way in the video that you give it. So now that we have the visual part of our AI clone, what about the voice? How do we get the AI voiceover and how do we get it to sound like us? Well, I can tell you, we're not gonna do that with HeyGen. HeyGen does have an AI voice and they actually are pretty good. Hello, this is how I sound. Hope but, you like it. Like even just the ones that they have on here, Hello, this is what I sound like. Hope you like it. Okay, that one was trash. Hello, this is how I sound. Hope you like it. I know there's one popular one in here that people use all the time. Uh, I forget what it is. So here's the AI voice that I created on HeyGen. Hello, this is how I sound. Hope you like it. That one does not sound like me at all. Hello, this is how I sound. Hope you like it. It almost sounds British. And here's the one that I trained using 11 Labs. Hello, this is how I sound. Hope you like it. You can see that one sounds a lot more like me. So yeah, that's a great thing is that you can integrate 11 Labs into your HeyGen AI cloning. And you do that by going to AI voice. And then at the top right, go to integrate third party voice. And this is where you'll input your 11 Labs API key. So when you generate your AI clone, HeyGen will create the visual part of your AI clone and then put your 11 labs voice on it. So let's go to 11 labs. So you'll want to create an account on here. Once you've done that, go to voices, then go to add new voice. And then you can click on instant voice clone. This one is an easy training. It'll just take two minutes and it just needs a few minutes of audio of you talking, or you can get the professional voice clone, which creates the most realistic digital replica of your voice. So with professional voice cloning, you need at least 30 minutes of clean audio of you talking up to three hours, or you could just go with the instant voice clone. So once you clone your voice it'll give you this here just knowing you exist changed the world for me that's pretty good but once you get your voice trained and it's ready to go you need to tell hey Jen how to use it so that's when we go to our apis click on the bottom left on your name here go to api keys create api key you can type in hey Jen here hit create now you have an api key don't show this to anybody i'm not going to be using this but you would copy this go back to hey Jen, integrate third party voice import voice there we go 11 labs they make it easy for you and then just paste in your API key. The next part of this video is where it gets a little bit more technical. And like I said, I'm not gonna go super into detail. I'm just gonna show you what I use and how it works. With what I've shown you so far, you could easily make videos out of just that. It would just be a bit more manual. HeyGen already has your 11 lab, so you would just give your script to HeyGen and it would export out your video and you can use that for whatever. But we wanna automate this process. We wanna take as much of our hands out of this as we can. So this is when we get into Airtable. So this is Airtable. It's basically a database slash Google Sheet. I've just learned about it last month and it's the best thing that's ever happened. You can run automations from it. You could connect apps to it using make automations, web hooks. It's just so powerful. So let's just grab an article about NVIDIA here, just as an example. Let's say I wanna make a video about this and I don't really wanna write a script. That's a lot of work. I want my AI clone to do that for me. That's why I built it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, copy it, just copy this paragraph. Now let's copy the entire thing. You can take, you could take anything. You can take transcripts, articles, tweets, and turn those into videos. So let's just copy that and then paste this into, let's paste it into a new record. And we put the subject information in here, paste that in. Now we have our article in this cell. And I don't need to give it a video name, but I'm going to just for the sake of it. NVIDIA video one. Now all I have to do is just change this status from draft to pending. That'll put that video into this sheet here and it'll start doing its work. And in about 10 seconds, we have the script now. So I don't want it to generate the video just yet. I just want it to create the script for me and then stop right here because this is where I can approve it. I want to approve it before it wastes credits on a video that I didn't want it to create. So I could see here, this is the script that it's going to use for the video. And yep, okay, this looks good. And now this might be a good time to show you our fourth AI tool in this process, Make Automation. Make.com is the glue to everything. This is where you're connecting all the apps, ChatGPT, Airtable, 
PayGen, Dropbox. Make.com is like the translator for all these apps. You give it a webhook, you're sending some information, and then we're routing this into Airtable. ChatGPT makes a script and then updates the Airtable record. And that's where we're at now. I think this would be a good time to show you how this make automation works before we hit video ready and start generating our AI video. So you give you a better look at what this does. I'm going to hit run once on this make automation. And now, like we said, this NVIDIA video one script is ready to be made into a video. So what I would do is just go here and click on video ready and then that will send it into the process. You'll start to see this doing something. If you zoom in closer, there, yep. So it's getting data. Right now it got the Airtable record. It's working with that. It's doing some text parsing, making making it so that's compatible for HeyGen. And now it sent a request to HeyGen to now make the video. And then we just have a sleep module here. It waits about 300 seconds. We're just waiting on the HeyGen video to be generated before we continue on. But if we go to HeyGen, let's go to home here. We should be able to see the video being made right now. 33% ready. So while we're waiting for that, let me show you guys the results on these AI videos that I've made. I've done this on three so far. We got this first one here that didn't do too well compared to how my videos usually do, but this one here did pretty good. 11,000 views, 79 likes. For it being a, a, an AI clone of myself, that's pretty good. And you look at the comments, no one is noticing the clone, except this person, this person got it. But I think I left somewhere in the video telling people if they notice that it's a clone, let me know in the comments. But yeah, so far it doesn't seem like people seem to notice. And what really has gotten me into this is Rowan Chung. I noticed that he does AI videos and I'm pretty sure I, I've seen him mention that he's been testing these AI videos for his own page here on Instagram. And even he said that people don't seem to notice. And I think it'll just continue to get that way because AI cloning is just gonna get more and more accurate and people are just not gonna notice. So instead of waiting around to see if people will care or not, why not just get to know how to create an AI clone and really start to know how it works for the inevitable possibly comes? I don't I don't know. I don't know how it'll go. It really seems like it's starting to point to the dead internet theory where the whole internet is just AI bots, AI clones. It looks like our AI video is done and it's been uploaded to our Dropbox. And one thing I like about this automation is that it does the folder structure by itself. So when it creates a video, it'll create a new folder based on whatever day it is. And today is January 10th. So we know this is the video that we're working with. And here we go. This is why NVIDIA's latest reveal is turning heads across the tech world. At the recent CES, NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang unveiled Project Digits, a portable AI supercomputer that could revolutionize machine learning. Designed for researchers and smaller companies, it packs the power of NVIDIA's advanced GPUs into a box that costs only $3,000. Unlike the hefty data centers currently used by AI giants, this compact solution allows for innovation without breaking the bank. So do you think this could democratize AI development? Follow me for more cutting edge tech insights. And there we go. We gave ChatGPT the information to make the script itself. Now, it might be a lot more noticeable that this is an AI because that's that's all we're focused on. But once you put it in context, when you put it into an actual video, see like this, I kind of barely show the face. It's more subject forward, at least in the beginning. And then occasionally I show my AI clone. There's also some glitchy effects going on. There's other places that your eyes can look. So the focus isn't just all on the AI clone. And you can also add in some music in there to hide the quality of the AI voice. Again, if you want me to go full detail on how to create this make automation, or I could export this make.com automation and you'd be able to just import it into your own. If this video was helpful for you, make sure to like and subscribe for more. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I also have a Discord if you want to chat there. See you in the next one.